in this episode of Every Road Adventures, we visit Bilson's Brewery and take an historical tour around the town of Beechworth. Brewery, the only one that's sold is Cascade in Tasmania. That's why it's that interesting shape. They built it nice and tall. They have these big green elevators that um, got all the ingredients to the top of the tower so they could gravity feed the process. But, um, George Bilson built it in 1872 because of the spring water. There's an old red brick well that was dug by the Chinese gold miners. And we still draw spring water from it to make every single product here. They um, malted all their own barley here, made all their own glass bottles and barrels. And then they spread out and they opened up the reason to link it up. Quite a big one in Albury, and there's a really big one in St Kilda. Yeah. 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 Downstairs in that far corner into the cellars. Yeah. Really cool underground gin and whiskey bar yeah. down there. Lots of the original bottles. Yeah. You ever see the distillery? Yeah. Yeah. one in there was a school bus from 100 years ago yeah. and next door in front of the car park is a brick building yes. big windows into the factory so you can see where it all gets you can't stop at Beechworth without stopping at the iconic Beechworth Bakery Beechworth is originally a mining town from back in the 1850s. Uh, it's still kept a lot of its history, as you'll see around. Take the time to visit the old courthouse and sit in the same dock that Ned Kelly did. And what have you got to say for yourself? including replicas of the Kelly Gang's famous armour and Ned Kelly's death mask. Telegraph station in Beechworth is sure to be a hit with the kids. It was opened September 30, 1976, and it closed on January 3rd, 1977. When... 
Uh, Harry Power, for those who don't know, was Ned Kelly's bush ranging teacher. hidden inside the Berg Museum.